Hi, everybody. This is Beth McCullough. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Iowa, and I'm here every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central with my sweet husband, Steve. Hi, everybody. We are so glad you're joining us. Bev, I think you were the first one here. It's good to see you. Who else is on tonight, Steve? Uh, people are just gathering up. Yeah, it's good to see that. It is a warm one in Iowa today, isn't it? Oh, man, is it hot? It's hot everywhere. I just saw a news report about how hot it is in Europe right now. Is it? Yeah. it's They've got wildfires, and it was over 100 degrees in London for the first time ever. Oh, my goodness. Right. They don't have air conditioning there, so it's just awful. So it's a good thing we're not in London, huh? Good thing we're not in London. So Steve got warm. He We babysat the grand dog during the day today, and Yukon is a... Alaskan Malamute. And how much do you think he weighs? Um, you know, he looks like he weighs about 150 pounds, but that's because of all that hair. Yeah. He probably only weighs 60 pounds. When you brushed him the other day, how many pounds of hair did you get it off of amazing. him? It was amazing. I was saying he's like a sheep. Mm -hmm. We could have like started to does, does make any, a sweater. Yeah. Does anyone know how to spin, spin wool, spin hair? Well, I got a couple cards again this week. I want to show you those before we get started. This is the very fun card we're going to make. I'm actually going to make another version of this card. Um, I think with the belly band, we'll have to see. But it's a super easy, fun card with all the cute DSP you have. But before we do that, look at this card. This is from Allison Hickson. It is a beautiful card. She did um, a paper pumpkin kit, which I just adore. And then from Grace's garden, she stamped the little kitty and the little bird and put that up there. Isn't that darling? That cute. So cute. Thank you, Allison. You did a beautiful job. And then I got this card from my fellow demo and friend, Sharon Burkert. And this is the new wreath set in the mini catalog. It says a little hello from me to you. And look, she even decorated the inside with the flowers. Just doesn't it just make your day? I just love, love getting cards in the mail. And it inspires me to want to send the cards too. So thank you so much. I love both of these cards. Very sweet. Okay, so this card, I have to tell you, I haven't told you this yet, Steve. Um, the little glasses come in the hippo set. So the Hippo stamp set is free with a $50 order. And then the Hippo dies are free with a $50 order. So with a $100 order, you can get both. And these little glasses reminded me of your black glasses, Steve. And My so, glasses? Yes. Wait, wait, I'm being compared to the Hippo now. You, you are because he's bringing her a flower. And you bring me flowers. And you have cute glasses. They just aren't blue. They're not Pacific Point. They're black. No? Okay. I'm, not the hippo. It's a skinny, fit, physically fit triathlon hippo. I I didn't think this through. I didn't realize I would offend you. <laughs> I'm not offended. I just Okay, pretend he's not. He's a cute animal that's darling. Okay, you just dig <laughs> in that hole, honey. Keep digging. Who, uh, Diana's here and Linda and Keisha. Thanks for coming on, you guys. And Chris is here. Bridget's Yay. here, of course, and Linda Lace. Yes, thanks, you guys. Okay. So do you like this card? I think it's fun. I do like the card. Okay. So I just I, don't like being compared to the card. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. So instead of making this exact card, I'm going to make a similar card. I know sometimes I get in trouble doing that, but we'll see how it goes tonight. So to make the card, you need the hippest hippo and the dies. And they don't look like my husband. <laughs> Bev said the hippo, she's also seen it turned into a cow. And she's, she's wondering if maybe I'd feel better to be a, if I was a cow. Bev, I don't think he wants to be a cow either. Okay, so you when, know, whatever <laughs> I need to do for the video, that's what I will do. Okay, so I want to talk to you about the DSP. When you go to pick out your pretty paper or your designer series paper, the part that opens can be directional. These polka dots could be directional. I'm going to scoop this up so you can see. 
this is an old retired paper. The mushrooms are directional. But so one thing you want to do is pick paper that you like both sides that coordinate, but at least one side should not be directional. Okay. So the mushrooms are directional. You're cutting this piece off and gluing it on down here so you can get away with it. On my piece, the stripes and the polka dots, neither one were directional. So you can do no direction or you can do one direction. But what I wanted to do with tonight's card is I wanted to use this paper. And this paper is directional on the ornaments. So I thought, well, I'll put that inside, right? But do you see how the bows are? It's also directional on the bows. So when you cut this piece off and you go to put it down here, the bows are upside down. Now, do you mind those bows being upside down? What do you think? I think it's fine. They're you think on, it's fine? No one will notice? Some, some directional paper, it absolutely, you can't get away with it. It helps that there's still stripes on it. But I just wanted to show you that when you pick out the paper. So like this paper is not directional on either side. So this would be good. And I want to show you where these are coming from. In the mini catalog, we have host reward paper. And it's called Celebrate Everything. And I noticed with this host reward paper, like look at this paper. It's leaves on one side and just a, a plus sign on the other. So it's not directional on either side. This would be a great paper to use. There's several in here and it's, it's super, super cute. I thought even these pumpkins. Your friend Tony's coming to your rescue. Tony, what she, are you saying? He's saying consider it a mirror image effect. So the, the part that's upside down on the bottom is a mirror image of the top. On your bows. Right. Right. Of course, Tony. Why didn't I think of that? If you want to make a Halloween card, this Halloween paper could be the inside and the stripes. Um, the stripes would work. So anyway, there's also a host paper in the annual catalog and it does the same thing. Stampin' Up! is getting a lot better about having the opposite side of the paper match. So this is non-directional. This is non-directional. This would be beautiful. This is host reward paper in the annual catalog. So the host reward paper in both catalogs would be super cute for this. So 10 minutes later, you have your paper picked out, right? So Mary wants to know how much of an order do you need to spend for that host paper? For the host reward, it, well, to it has to be 100 in the U.S., it has to be $150. And then you get host rewards and you can purchase that paper. The paper, though, is it? Somebody look for me. I'm thinking it's 30, but I, I don't know that it can be. I didn't look at the price. I'm sorry. But I know you have to, it has to be 150 in order for you to get host rewards. So, or maybe I should cut down the paper and give it as a prize if you don't have the host reward paper. So. Bev says it's $18. $18. So you'd have to spend $180 to get the host reward paper. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning. Now that we have the paper thing oh, wait, figured Tony out. Oh, wait, Tony says it's $30. So we have a dispute. Maybe it, maybe one of them in one catalog is 18 and one is more. But just look in your catalog. The host rewards are shown at the very back. Should I look at that? Nope. No. Tony's not agreeing. It's $30. Okay. Oh, it's a $30 value. But I think maybe it costs 18 I don't know. Okay. So to make this card, we have measurements, Steve. Do you have slides for I the measurements? Have slides. Our card base is just four and a quarter by five and a half. So there's no fold. It's just a plain card base. You can see this one is Pacific Point on the card that doesn't look like Steve. Okay. And then for your designer series paper, you're going to use 12 inches across. 
we moved our camera to the other side and now I have to go really, I want to bring it back this way. I'm going to move you all. Hang on. Because I, you could always see the arm coming in. How's that? You still can't see the bottom paper. You still can't see it? Okay. So this designer series paper is 12 inches long and it's five and a quarter tall. And we are going to take it, I'll show you with this other one, and we're going to score it at two inches, four inches, eight inches, and 10 inches. And you have a graphic for that, Steve. So here we are. It's five and a quarter by 12. Get my cutting blade out of the way. And I'm going to score it two, four. Hey, I'm having trouble finding the right graphic. Oh, aren't they in order? Measure down two and an eighth on oh, the side and cut. No, diagonal. it's the one above. Just go up one. Oh, there it is. It's, you know, you may find this remarkable, honey. And, you know, I know you're free help, so I don't want to criticize, but I put the slides in order that they go. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You want to be careful. Not too much criticism. You'll have to find a different hippo to do your directions. <laughs> I'm I'm skating on thin ice tonight, I think. <laughs> okay. So, so you've scored it. Two, four, eight, and ten. Two, four, eight, and ten. Yes. And I'm going to score. So it comes in toward itself. You can't see what you're doing. Maybe we're going to have to put the camera back where it used to be. Okay. So it's going to go like this. The back of your card is here. It's folding in and then it's folding out. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mary is on and Joyce, I'm glad to see you guys. Okay. So I already did that on here. And now we're going to go to the next graphic, Steve, where on the front of this flap, you're going to measure down two and one eighth inch and just put a little mark. which is kind of funny because it's on black, so I won't be able to see it. So here's what I did on this card. I measured down two and an eighth and I put a mark. And then I went to the other side and I measured down two and an eighth and put a mark. And then I took my paper trimmer and I put this first fold line which is two inches from either end. I put that in the track, in the groove, and then I put my line, Your mark. my mark, and I just cut off the corner. So I ended up with these two corners cut off, right? Okay. So if I was gonna make the card, The way I made this one, this will make perfect sense. Can you see that, Steve? Yes. Okay. So there's the two corners, two and an eighth down to here, up to this first score line on both sides. Now we're going to fold in and fold out, and here's what we have. So here's my question. Do you care? that these bows are upside down because I have directional paper on it both. It is a mirror reflection of the bows. Tony on top. says it's a mirror reflection. I have another solution too. The other thing we can do is we can leave those off, still cut them off because it looks pretty showing the other side and we're going to do a belly band. So I think that's what we'll do on this one. You could, okay. although I do want to point out that I don't understand the up and down on the pattern, I thought the way they appeared on the bottom were actually going up. Because okay. the scissors when, are pointed out? No, they're 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 bows. Oh, they're bows. They're, they're not bows. scissors. They're not scissors. But even at that, can't bows hang down? Anyway, she's gonna use a belly band instead. 
<laughs> if this is your first time here, please come back again. Okay. This is not, not typical of our cards. Okay. So on the first, the front of the card, I am going to take the stylish shapes. I'm going to show you all the things we use to cut. We didn't use a lot of things tonight. We use the stylish shape squares to make these diamonds. On this card, it says, love you a ton. That came out of the hippo set and it was die cut with this little banner. Okay. I'm going to put joy inside. You can put whatever sentiment you want. I just did joy because my team is called joy team and it's little and fits on the square and there's still room to write. And then the cute thing that I haven't shown you yet is from Penguin Place. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay. So we are going to take our squares. And on this one, I also use the splatters and stripes embossing folder on this Pacific Point Square. And the Pacific Point Square is the second largest. The Poppy Parade Square is the third largest. On the card we're making today, Poppy Parade is second, Granny Apple Green is third. And I'm just going to adhere these two together. Holly's middle name is Joy. So she really likes that sentence. Oh, too. what a beautiful middle name. I love it. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere the back of the designer series paper onto the card base. I would call these bows. Steve would call them scissors. <laughs> hey, I'm just the assistant demonstrator. Okay. So this is what you get. You know, they're having on stage in Vienna and I read that the assistant demonstrators get to go to the dinner or the lunch and they get to be there. Are you ever going to come to a Stampin' Up event and meet everybody? Maybe. Do you want to go to Vienna in November? I've never thought about going to Vienna. I've never mentioned it. I, did, I didn't think it was a possibility. Okay, so we have the card based on there. And you can put this anywhere you want because I'm not putting the triangles on here. But what you do need to be careful of is line up the top of your diamond with the, the slit in the paper and kind of make it the same um, on both sides. And only put the glue on the left side. It'd be easy to put too much glue on See, here. Because I was just thinking, how is that thing ever going to open when you glue both down, both sides down? Yeah. I am not going to glue both sides down. I am just going to line it up. Can you see that on the camera? Honey? Yep. Line you know something? Points. I'm not going to do that. You know, we're going to go back to plan A. You wouldn't glue it on here. Okay, so it was a last minute decision to do a belly band. But if you're gluing this on, you would glue this to the belly band. Again, I, um, can I still blame it on anesthesia or is that too long ago? <laughs> yeah, you can blame it on whatever you want. Honey. Okay. Maybe it's just that you're next to your husband who you love so much that it distracts you. Yeah. I'm, I'm worried about the consequences of comparing him to a hippo when I can't think straight. <laughs> no consequences. Only forgiveness. Only forgiveness. Oh, thank you. So I am going to put glue on these triangles. I'll show you the belly band that I was going to put on here. Yay. So you're just going to line this up in the corner. Now the scissors get to be straight up and down. Got to get these scissors on the card quick. Okay, so if you used paper that had directional, you could cut like a one and a quarter belly band. And what I was going to do is I was going to put this on 
And then I was going to adhere the squares to this so it would slip off. So you have options. Options are good. Now for the hippo. This hippo is running, running toward Christmas. And we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of him. And then the fun part, the fun part is still coming. I got out that penguin set because I was decorating my running hippo. I'm going to put him down a little bit. And then I'm going to grab a mini Stampin' Dimensional. And I stamped the little snow cap out of the penguin place. So if you want to put, I don't know if you could do the scarf, but you can use some of the embellishments from the penguin place and use it on the hippo. So I'm going to put a mini dimensional on the ski hat and put it right here and leave his ears sticking out. What do you think of that? I like that. Would you be cute? Would you be happier being a running hippo? <laughs> triathlon hippo. There you it's, go. It's a triathlon hippo <laughs> at, at Christmas time. They call the, the, the triathletes that weigh more than 220 pounds the Clydesdales. So, so I a need hippo to. could be a Clydesdale. I need triathlon. to make a, a, a horse one. So inside this one, I took Granny Apple Green for the envelope and I did the little tree. That also came out of the penguin place because I had that out. And then the joy, the joy for, is it Keisha? Holly, Holly's middle name is Joy. It came out of Marius Moments. This was in the catalog last year and it's in again this year. It has the embossing folder where you cut and you emboss at the same time. So we should do the prize patrol. Are people putting prize patrol in? People are starting to. The, the veterans that have been here before, everybody should do it though. Put in hashtag prize patrol into the comments so you can get entered into the drawing. And what would they win? They are gonna win their choice of the triathlon hippo card or the cute Steve card with blue glasses giving me a flower card. Okay, so I'm just going to layer the joy on here. This is a two and a half by two and a half inch square. You actually have a graphic for that too, Steve. Yeah, I put it up before. <clears throat> so I'll put it up again. And then I'm going to layer this, the stylish shape on there. And then it doesn't really matter. I just kind of like it being. And the reason I didn't do it, normally we do a full card inside a full white piece, but the ornaments, whatever the DSP is, is so cute. I just didn't want to cover it up. So you could send this to someone that you're just going to write a little note instead of a big note. And it's not going to show, so you can put it anywhere, but I kind of liked the diamonds being at the same dimension. Because you're an accountant. Yes. And then I was going to put a belly band on it, so I didn't do a sentiment. But this is just popped up on mini Stampin' Dimensionals, embossed with white embossing powder. Love you a ton. You can see the border of the card base on the bottom and the top. And then this little um, thing in the center, if you can see that, this is the smallest circle from Stylish Shapes. And then these hearts are actually in the hippo dies. So I just glued on the three hearts. Here they are right here. You cut them out at once. Lots of cute embellishments in here. Umbrella, flowers, snorkel. Would you like to be scuba hippo? Yes. Okay. And then we have the cute little Christmas tree to go with this one. What do you guys think? Do you like it? We have lots of prize patrols. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Jean. Hi, Shirley. I'm glad you guys are on. Okay. That is what I have for you tonight. I'm excited. My um, Hues of Happiness stamp camp that I kept talking about is this weekend. And there's challenges going up. If you're doing that stamp camp with me, 
um, the first challenge is up. So go look in the Facebook page and um, it's going to be a fun, fun weekend. And you're going to be there too, aren't you, Steve? I am. Yeah. So tell me which one you like better. Do you like, what are we calling this? Triathlon hippo or loving hippo? Because he's got the hearts and love you a ton. So we have 13 people in the drawing. If you're watching this on replay later on YouTube or Facebook, just put hashtag replay in the comments. And we do do videos every Tuesday night at seven. Normally they're a little more organized. Do you have anything else to say, honey? I have gotten screen share to come up so that people can see what they we're can doing. watch the drawing so they can watch what we're doing. Okay. And so we're giving away one of these cards. So what's changed since last week? I started doing dishes. That's that's an improvement, it is. right? It's, it's definitely is an improvement. Anything else better? I'm walking without crutches. I'm hobbling without crutches. You walked all the way around the block. I walked around a couple blocks. You did. Yeah. And faster than yesterday. Faster, yeah. We Did we set a speed record, honey? No, we had lots. Of, it's a, it was a contemplative walk. A contemplative. Okay. okay here we I go. think everybody's ready with their prize patrol. And you can let me know which card you want, and I will mail it to you. Here we go. I really do appreciate you um, liking and sharing the videos. If you want to give Steve a thumbs up or a heart, that's always a Chris. good thing. Chris won. Chris, I'm so glad you won. She had a very hard week. She lost her father on Saturday, and I'm so very sorry. Please be in prayer for Chris yes, and her family. Yes, and her family. And Chris, let me know what hippo card you want. I also made you a sympathy card that I'll be sending your way soon. So um, you guys have a wonderful week. Please come back next week. And um, and what else do you have, Steve? That's all I that's, got. That's it. Well, thank you for joining us. Have a blessed week. Bye. Bye-bye.